welcome to Story Station, episode 26. In this episode, you can listen to two European stories. The first story is titled, The Sprightly Tailor. This brave tailor went to extreme lengths just to not lose a bet. The second story is titled, Munachar and Monachar. Listen to this tale of the lengths Munachar went to just to punish his friend Monachar from eating his raspberries. Hope you enjoy it! I will read a story called The Sprightly Tailor. A sprightly tailor was employed by the great MacDonald in his castle at Saddle in order to make the laird a player of trues used in olden time. And trues being the vest and breeches united in one piece, and ornamented with fringes, were very comfortable and suitable to be worn in walking or dancing. MacDonald had said to the tailor that if he would make the trues by night in the church, he would get a handsome reward. For it was thought that the old ruined church was haunted, and that fearsome things were to be seen there at night. The tailor, well aware of this, was a sprightly man, and when the laird dared him to make the trues by night in the church, the tailor was not to be daunted. He took it in hand to gain the prize. So, when night came, he away he went up the glen, about half a mile distant from the castle, till he came to the old church. Then he chose him a nice gravestone for a seat and lighted his candle, put on his thimble, and set to work at the trues, plying his needle nimbly and thinking about the hire that the laird would have to give him. For some time he got on pretty well, until he felt the floor all of a tremble under his feet. And looking about him, but keeping his fingers at work, he saw the appearance of a great human head rising up through the stone pavement of the church. And when the head had risen above the surface, there came from it a great, great voice. And the voice said, Do you see this great head of mine? I see that, but I'll sue this, replied the sprightly tailor, and he stitched away at the trues. Then the head rose higher up through the pavement until its neck appeared, and when its neck was shown, the thundering voice came again and said, Do you see this great neck of mine? I see that, but I'll sue this, said the sprightly tailor, and he stitched away at his trues. Then the head and neck rose higher still until the great shoulders and chest were shown above the ground. And again, the mighty voice thundered, Do you see this great chest of mine? And again, the sprightly tailor replied, I see that, but I'll sue this, and stitched away at his trues. And still, it kept rising through the pavement, until it shook a great pair of arms in the tailor's face, and said, Do you see these great arms of mine? I see those, but I'll sue this, answered the tailor, and he stitched hard at his trues, for he knew that he had no time to lose. The sprightly tailor was taking the long stitches, when he saw it gradually rising and rising through the floor, until it lifted out a great leg, stamping it and stamping with it upon the pavement, and said in a roaring voice, Do you see this great leg of mine? Aye, aye, I see that, but I'll sue this, cried the tailor. And his fingers flew with the needle, and he took such long stitches that he was just come to the end of the truce, when it was taking up its other leg. But before it could pull out of the pavement, the sprightly tailor had finished his task, and blowing out his candle, and springing from off his gravestone, he buckled up and ran out of the church with the trues under his arm. Then the fearsome thing gave a loud roar and stamped with both his feet upon the pavement. 
and out of the church he went after the sprightly tailor. Down the glen they ran, faster than the stream when the flood rides it. But the tailor had got the start and a nimble pair of legs, and he did not choose to lose the laird's reward. And though the thing roared to him to stop, yet the sprightly tailor was not the man to be beholden to a monster. So he held his truce tight and let no darkness grow under his feet until he'd reached Saddle Castle. He had no sooner got inside the gate and shut it than the apparition came up to it and, enraged at losing his prize, struck the wall above the gate and left there the mark of his five great fingers. He may see them plainly to this day if he'll only peer close enough. But the sprightly tailor had gained his reward, for MacDonald paid him handsomely for the truce and never discovered that a few of the stitches were somewhat long. The end. I hope you liked this story. The next story begins in a moment. I will read a story called Munachar and Monachar. There once lived a Munachar and a Monachar a long time ago. And it's a long time since it was. And if they were alive now, they wouldn't be alive then. They went out together to pick raspberries. And as many as Munachar used to pick, Monachar used to eat. Munachar said he must go look for a rod to make a gad to hang Monachar, who ate his raspberries all the time. And he came to the rod. What news the day? said the rod. It is my own news that I am seeking. Going looking for a rod, a rod to make a gad, a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one, Munachar said. You will not get me, said the rod, until you get an axe to cut me. Munachar came to the axe. What news today, said the axe. It is my own news I am seeking. Going looking for an axe. An axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gad, a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, said the axe, until you get a flag to edge me. He came to the flag. What news today, says the flag. Munachar says, it's my own news I'm seeking. I'm going looking for a flag, flag to, a flag to edge axe, an axe to cut a rod. A rod to make a gad, a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, says the flag, till you get water to wet me. He came to the water. What news today, says the water? It's my own news that I'm seeking. I'm going looking for water, a water to wet the flag, a flag to edge the axe, an axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gag, and a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, said the water, until you get a deer who will swim in me. He came to the deer. What news today, says the deer. Munachar says, it's my own news I'm seeking. I'm going looking for a deer, a deer to swim in the water, a water to wet the flag, a flag to edge the axe, an axe to cut a rod. A rod to make a gad, a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, said the deer, until you get a hound who will hunt me. He came to the hound. What news today, says the hound? It's my own news I'm seeking. Going looking for a hound, a hound to hunt the deer, a deer to swim in the water, a water to put the flag, a flag to edge an axe, an axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gad, and a gad to hang Monachar, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, said the hound, until you get a bit of butter to put in my claw. He came to the butter. What news today, says the butter? Monachar says, it's my own news I'm seeking. I'm going looking for butter. Butter to go into the claw of a hound, a hound to hunt a deer, a deer to swim in the water, 
or wa some water to wet the flag, a flag to edge the axe, an axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gad, and a gad to hang a monitor who ate my raspberries, every one of them. You will not get me, said the butter, until you get a cat who shall scrape me. Munachar went to the cat. What news today, said the cat. It's my own news I'm seeking. Going looking for a cat, a cat to scrape butter, for butter to throw in the claw of a hound, a hound to hunt the deer, a deer to swim in the water, water to wet the flag, a flag to edge the axe, an axe to cut a rod, and a rod to make a gag, a gag which I can hang monitor, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get me, said the cat, until you get milk, which you can give me. Munichar went to the cow. What news today, said the cow? It's my own news I'm seeking. I'm going looking for a cow, a cow to give me milk, and the milk I'll give to the cat. A cat to scrape the butter, and the butter to go in the claw of a hound. A hound to hunt deer, a deer to swim in the water, water to wet the flag, a flag to edge the axe, the axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gad, a gad to hang monitor, who ate my raspberries, every one of them. You'll not get any milk from me, said the cow, until you bring me a wisp of straw from those threshers yonder. M Munichar went to the threshers. What news today, said the threshers. It's my own news I'm seeking. Going looking for a wisp of straw from ye to give the cow. The cow to give me milk. Milk I'll give to the cat. A cat to scrape the butter. Butter to go in the claw of a hound. A hound to hunt the deer. And the deer to swim in the water. The water to wilt the flag. The flag to edge the axe. An axe to cut the rod. A rod to make a gad. A gad to hang monitor. Wait, my raspberries, every one. You will not get a wisp of straw from us, said the threshers, until you bring us the makings of a cake from the miller over yonder. He came to the miller. What news today, said the miller? It's my own news I'm seeking. Going looking for the makings of a cake, to which I'll give this to the threshers, the threshers to give me a wisp of straw. The wisp of straw I'll give to the cow, the cow to give me milk, the milk I'll give to the cat, the cat to scrape butter, butter to go in the claw of a hound, the hound to hunt the deer, the deer to swim in the water, the water to wet the flag, the flag to edge the axe, and the axe to cut a rod, a rod to make a gad, a gad to hang monitor, who ate my raspberries, every one. You will not get any makings of a cake from me, said the miller. Till you bring me the full of that sieve of water from the river over there. He took the sieve in his hand and went over to the river. But as often as ever he would stoop and fill it with water, the moment he raised it, the water would run out of it again. And sure, if he hadn't been there from that day till this, he could have never filled it. A crow went flying by him over his head. Dub, dub, said the crow. My blessings on ye, then, said Munachar, but it's the good advice you have. And he took the red clay and the dab that was by the brink. He rubbed it to the bottom of the sieve, sieve until all the holes were filled. Then the sieve held the water, and he brought the water to the miller. The miller gave him the makings of a cake gave the makings of a cake to the threshers. The threshers gave him a wisp of straw. He gave the wisp of straw to the cow, and the cow gave him milk. The milk he gave to the cat, and the cat scraped the butter. The butter went to the claw of the hound, and the hound hunted the deer. The deer swam into the water, the water wet the flag. The flag sharpened the axe, the axe cut the rod, and the rod made a gap. And we, when he had it ready to hang Monachar, he found that Monachar had burst. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you for listening to Story Station. We are adding stories as frequently as possible, so check back often. We would love to hear your feedback and any questions you may have. Thank you. <laughs>